Hi girls, this is Miss Paige here. Happy Wednesday. Today is April 29th. Before we start on our lesson, I want to show off um, one of our scholars work. Um, the question that they answered was, what is the main idea of the article? Use text evidence to support your answer. And the response we got submitted was, the main idea of the text is to help protect the ocean. I know because the text says, the underwater robots were designed to gather trash. It also says, the students were learning to clean waterways. So my first star is that you included all parts of a short response. In there, you have your answer, detail, and detail. So awesome job with doing that. Also, the response is accurate and very clear to read. Okay, it's very smooth. The sentences are specific. The sentences are accurate, and I can read through it without any troubles. It also says, um, it has textual evidence that is introduced with, I know this because. Okay, so your evidence and your quote are introduced. They're in there by saying, I know this because. That means you're picking out details that really match and support your response. So very nice job. Um, I My wish for the future is that you challenge yourself to explain what extra information your text evidence provides. So for example, you would say, I know because the text says the underwater robots were designed to gather trash, which shows that the students are making specific technology that will help clean and protect the ocean. Okay, so back up your um, text evidence, which shows what extra information they, they add, which connects to your main idea of the article. Okay, keep that in mind when we're moving forward. Okay, let's get into today's lesson. Today's lesson is I can identify the problem and solution in Harry the Dirty Dog. Okay, that is our um, learning target for today. When you're thinking about it, think about problem and solution because you'll be filling out this chart here afterwards. So a problem is what goes wrong in a story. What is the problem? What is the what happens to go for it to go wrong? And the solution is how is the problem fixed? Okay, so you want to be thinking about that as we read through um, Harry the Dirty Dog. Okay, so here is Harry the Dirty Dog. Challenge yourself to read out loud with me as I read. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they he played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a cold shoe and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his odd, clever, old, clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again. But everyone shook their heads and said, Oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, Why don't you and your brother give him one? 
Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy! Daddy! Look! Look! Come quick! It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. It was a it was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he hid under his pillow. All right, so that is the story, Harry the Dirty Dog. Give it a reread if you think you might need to do so. You can play it back again. So I've started to fill out the chart here. The title is Harry the Dirty Dog. Put in the character. We want to say the character here is, who, who is the character's name? Okay, I hope you all said Harry. And the setting. Where is the setting mostly taking place? We can say the setting was mostly taking place in Harry's house. Okay, now the problem. I'm not going to give you the problem and I'm not going to give you the solution. That's going to be your challenge for today. Okay, but what I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put in a question here for the problem. What is the problem? So, what I'll put it in black so that you can see it differently. What does Harry not want? What does Harry want to change? Okay. There's something that Harry doesn't like. He doesn't want something. And what does he want to change? Okay, so that's your first part to problem. And then the next part to problem is um, what happens when he tries to avoid the problem. Okay, when he's trying to get away from the problem, what happens? Okay, because these are all parts of our problem. And our solution here, when you're answering the solution, I want you to think about how does Harry solve his problem? What is the outcome of his problems? Okay, Harry does something to fix his problem. Okay, so and think about those questions as you're going. The problem is what goes wrong in the story. Harry has a great plan at the beginning, but something goes wrong with his plan. Okay, he hides that brush. What goes wrong when he does that? Okay, what does Harry want to change? Okay, what happens when he tries to avoid the problem and tries to get away from his problem? Then the solution, how does Harry solve the problem? What is the, I, oh, sorry, that says what it. What is the outcome of his problem? Okay, once you have this chart completed, make sure you take a picture and you send it in to your teacher on Dojo or save it in your file for when we all get back together. I hope you have a great day.